Looking live across the Delaware River towards Philadelphia, the Ben Franklin Bridge there to the right, ahead of what is forecasted to be the first significant snowstorm of the season. It could affect both commutes. The system is the same one dumping snow in places like here in Hartford, Connecticut. A handful of schools in our area have already closed. Here's the list from CBSPhilly.com. It includes Central Bucks and Penridge, among others. And late tonight, Warminster Township in Bucks County declaring a snow emergency starting at 6 a.m., meaning all on-street parking is banned. Good evening. I'm Joe Holden in the Weather Center with meteorologist Lauren Casey. I know this has been a very complex system, the forecast. Yes. So what are you seeing as the biggest impacts? Yeah, we will see some significant snowfall in some areas, including Bucks County, where winter storm warning now is in effect. That winter storm warning has been expanded yesterday. It included exclusively the Poconos, now includes Montgomery County, Bucks County, and the Lehigh Valley through late tomorrow night. A winter weather advisor in effect for Philadelphia and most immediate suburbs for that same time frame. So storm scan three, we had the first wave of moisture with the system earlier in the day. Freezing rain to the north and west. A cold rain for most of us persisted throughout the day. Now getting a little bit of a lull on storm scan three, but just upwind more precipitation. So on the front side of the system, the moisture we dealt with this morning is now impacting upstate New York and portions of New England where they're seeing heavy snow coming down. The parent area of low pressure still over mid the Midwest, but it has spun up an additional area of low pressure just offshore of us, and that will become the main area of low pressure tomorrow. So what to expect tomorrow and tomorrow night? Because we're going to be on the back side of the system, the snow is going to be less uniform and more so coming in waves and bands. Now, in some of these convective bands that we see set up that will be very localized, we could see snowfall rates of one to two inches per hour. Hour. But we will see some steadier snow to the north and west of the city where we do have that winter storm warning in effect. So your snow timeline, rain and snow showers tomorrow morning, all snow to the north. During the afternoon, periods of snow, especially in the city and areas northward. Then as we head into the evening hours, some of that moisture pushes further south as we head into tomorrow night. So we'll see snow penetrating further into South Jersey, the shore and portions of Delaware. So forecast snowfall totals. This is what it's looking like like at this point in and around the city, two to four inches of snowfall through late tomorrow night to the north, four to six inches, and then to the south, lower totals of maybe a coating to two inches. And we'll see some of those higher end totals in the Poconos. But we talked with drivers today who were preparing for the snow that we're going to see moving in tomorrow. PennDOT is getting ready for winter weather at its South Philly facility tonight. The city is likely to pick up several inches of snow through the day tomorrow and tomorrow night, with more significant amounts the further north you go. Yeah, it's going to be a fun commute in the morning. The snow blower, everything's right at the edge of the garage door and everything ready to go out. Don't like it. <laughs> Not ready for it. Sunday was a busy day of the Thanksgiving travel weekend at Philadelphia International, and it was slow going. They had to de-ice the plane. So we waited a little longer. So we just got here an hour after we were supposed to. But most travelers hit the roads. We're headed up from Bucks County, Levittown area to uh, York County to pick up the grandson. And then we're turning around and coming right back in a hurry. Chuck Sell was concerned about icy conditions as freezing rain fell in Bucks County. I have a four wheel drive truck, but it's still not good on the highway. In Chester County, salt trucks were out early to get ahead of the storm. And tonight in Montgomery County, Route 202 in King of Prussia is wet with no major travel issues, but that will likely change tomorrow. I prepared to stay in and, and be well fed and not come outside. But for those who can't stay home, give yourself plenty of extra time. A winter storm warning begins in KOP at 6 a.m. and is in effect until late Monday night. I got snow tires on, so hopefully I'll get to work. But, uh, you know, just got to make sure I shovel myself out and just prepare. And Lauren, you're back in just a few short minutes with more on this storm and its potency. Yeah, we'll break down the complexities of this storm, and we'll talk more about those totals coming up in just a few. Lauren, thank you. And of course, check in with Eyewitness News this morning when you wake up for live road conditions. Also, be sure to download the CBS3 weather app for instant alerts. And Lauren Casey back tomorrow afternoon with Chief Meteorologist Kate Bilo to bring you the latest tracking.